Today we're talking about using the new Insta360 ONE RS as a web camera. It's really easy and that's what we're going to show you how to do in this video today. If you've been debating whether or not to buy one of the Insta360 cameras over the last few weeks, now might be the time to pull the trigger. They're running their spring sale event up until the 22nd of April 2022, and they've got lots of discounts across the website. For example, they've got 10% off the Insta360 ONE X2, which is the best 360 camera on the market at the moment. If you want to purchase one, now's the time. Go and check out the link in the description down below. If you're watching this video after April the 22nd, don't despair. If you still buy through that link, you'll get a free accessory courtesy of Insta360. So the Insta360 ONE RS is not just an action camera, it's an all-purpose camera. It can do all sorts of things and one of those things it can do is be a really good quality webcam. So we're going to run through what you need to do and what you need to get this working as a webcam. It's really simple, there's only a few steps to follow and I'll go through it step by step so you can set it up and start using it for conference calls, live streaming, whatever you're doing. It's absolutely fabulous. Now, of course, because this camera is modular, it's got three different lens options currently. You've got the Leica lens, which is a one inch sensor on here. That is where you're gonna get the best video quality. It looks absolutely stunning. And this is the lens I'm gonna use for that particular test, but you can use the new 4K boost lens and it does work with their 360 camera. You can actually do live streams, conference calls with this lens as well. I'll show you what that looks like just in a little bit. Oh, the, the lights have gone on. That means somebody has liked the video. Thank you very much for liking the video. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you like it as well. It really does help. And every time somebody likes it for the first time, the lights come on. They do, honestly. And while you're down there, please make sure you subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Lots of videos coming very soon, especially on this bad boy. So the first thing you have to do is, well, well, you have to power it on first, but then you have to go into the menu and change the USB settings. Very simple, swipe down, go across to settings, and then click on general, and you'll see USB mode. Change it from U-Disc to webcam, and then you're away. It is literally plug and play. There is one other option that comes set as default in the camera, and it's got a really good zoom option where it actually tracks you where you're walking around the room. I'll show you what it looks like just on the screen now, but that's incredible that that's built in to this camera as well. It didn't previously work with the Leica lens, but with the new camera, it does. So it works with the Leica lens, the boost lens, and it actually tracks you if you move around the room. That can be really handy in certain scenarios. So if you want to turn that off, I would recommend turning that off because it's not something I really want to use because I'm just using like a stationary shot. So you, you just scroll down into settings, general, and then you'll see it if you scroll down, turn webcam zoom off. And that is all you have to do to set it up to get ready to use as a webcam. All you have to do then is plug it into the computer via the USB-C lead, and it should recognize the device. You can use it on Zoom. I'll show you in OBS in just a second, and you could use it in Skype. It will work on anything that uses a camera input. This is what you get. The Insta360 ONE RS with the Leica lens when you plug it in via USB-C to your laptop or computer, then this is the picture you get. It looks absolutely phenomenal, and if you own one of these cameras, you do not need to buy a webcam. This is as good as it gets. This A webcam, no matter what you buy, will not beat this. Amazing, it's got a half inch sensor on that Leica lens as well, so it's really good in low light. I am using an external source, whatever you're doing, podcasting, recording videos, conference calls, I always recommend that you use an external audio source. I'm using this one from Joby, their Wavo Air wireless system with the MacBook Pro, but the video is all coming from the Insta360 ONE RS. It's plugged in via USB-C. You won't have to worry about overheating either because you've got that new case on there, which fits the Leica lens for a start from the side, and of course, that dissipates any heat from the new core and stops it from overheating so you'll have no problems on that front as well looks amazing looks just the picture is just phenomenal so i'm really impressed with it it's so simple to set up once you've got it in webcam mode it's plug and play so easy go and use it if you've got one of these cameras i fully recommend it so that's it, it looks brilliant, especially with this Leica lens on there. It looks far better than any webcam you can purchase. And the fact that it won't overheat and the fact that it charges it while using it, a brilliant, really, really brilliant option as a web camera. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped. If you've got any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will be doing plenty of more content on the Insta360 cameras in particular. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, press the notifications on so you don't miss any uploads, new videos every single week.
don't forget about that spring sale only running until the 22nd of april and if you press through the link you'll get a free accessory as well as that discount so check the link down below until next time though guys i'll see you in the next one bye